It's already known that air pollution contributes to illnesses like respiratory and heart disease, but for the first time the World Health Organization's Cancer Agency has ranked the air that we breathe alongside tobacco, asbestos and other major causes of lung cancer. So as a result of that very painstaking review of a wide range of research uh, encompassing literally thousands of scientific papers, the working group concluded that outdoor air pollution is carcinogenic to humans, which makes this an IARC group one carcinogen. Scientists from the International Agency for Research on Cancer analyzed more than a thousand studies worldwide providing evidence for their findings. The agency cited data indicating that in 2010 some 223,000 deaths from lung cancer were caused by exposure to outdoor air pollution. The research also demonstrated a link to a slightly higher risk of bladder cancer. So the research means that what commuters have long suspected, cyclists, pedestrians, mothers with pushchairs, has now been scientifically proven that the air around us is carcinogenic, potentially extremely harmful. In a city like London, where emissions are tightly regulated, the risk of getting cancer from just walking about may be small. In developing giants like China and India, however, it's a hazardous factor of everyday life. Will the fact that nearly everyone on the planet is exposed to outdoor pollution prompt governments and health agencies to adopt stricter controls? By someone like the WHO making such a stark statement on air pollution causing cancer, they're really going to have to stand, sit up, take action and do things like clean up, clean up vehicles and industry. In the light of this new evidence, the World Health Organization says it's reviewing its global recommendations. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera, London.